Hey folks, in this video we'll show you how to make a light up Master Sword from The Legend of Zelda. This build has motion activated sound effects and LED animations. The Adafruit Feather and Prop Maker Featherwing has everything you need to add lights and sounds. NeoPixel LEDs are fitted inside the blade. This uses the built-in accelerometer to detect swings and hits. When you swing it around, it'll shoot beams as an LED animation and play different sounds. It'll play them randomly so it doesn't sound repetitive. It also has a slow pulsing animation with an idle sound effect that loops in the background. You can make this fit your project by customizing the colors or adding different sound effects. Get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. The parts in this kit are 3D printed using translucent PLA filament. This Master Sword was originally designed by Garrett from Chaos Core Tech. The files are open to remix and feature really nice details. The parts have been modified to fit all of the electronics and available to download. The code is written in Adafruit CircuitPython which makes it excellent for beginners. You can upload code and recharge the battery with the built-in USB port. The code is nicely commented and it's easy to adjust values like the speed of the animation or the sensitivity of the accelerometer. Use the Moot Editor in Serial Console to get print statements. This makes iteration much faster so you don't have to compile your code like in Arduino. It works like a USB storage device so you can drag and drop files right on the drive. We'll start by cleaning up the parts. A large brim helps prevent the parts from warping. We'll use sandpaper to smooth out the mating surfaces. This makes attaching the parts a bit easier. You'll want to sand these down to get nice and flush joinery. Starbond Superglue has precision tips which allows you to apply glue with a finer control. Lay out the parts to get an idea of how they'll fit together. Applying hot glue inside of the joints can help create a stronger bond. We used acrylic paints to color the handle, but you could also use airbrushing if you have the tools and experience. You'll need to make two halves and join them together. Be sure to check out the learn guide for step-by-step -step instructions. You can follow along with the build photos to wire up the electronics. Links are in the description. To keep the circuit as slim as possible, the prop maker wing is soldered directly on top of the feather. You can put the components inside the handle to get an idea of where to place them. We can extend the USB port using DIY connectors. A small tacto switch can be used to trigger the reset button. We're using silicone covered wires to make these connections. They're both strong and flexible. The extra pins on the feather wing make wiring much easier. This slide switch will power the circuit on and off. Once these are wired up, we can start mounting the components and connect the speaker. Use a 3-pin JST cable to connect the NeoPixel strips to the prop maker. We can cut the stock cable and create a Y connection for sharing power, data, and ground across two strips. Heat shrink tubing is used to insulate the exposed connections. To fully illuminate the blade, we're using two mini skinny NeoPixel strips. With everything wired up, we can test out the circuit. You want to make sure everything fits and the two halves can fully close. You want them to be flush as possible when attaching them together. So once the parts are in a good spot, we can secure them in place with hot glue. You can use a can of air duster to freeze dries the hot glue. This proved to be really handy and it makes this a quick process and really speeds up the drying. We wired up an extra button so you can add new features to the code. The speaker gets covered up so we can make some speaker holes. We used a needle and heated up the tip so that you can melt the PLA. So we made a few of them and that really makes this sound much louder. 
The two halves are hot glued together and the handle is tied with some paracord. If you make a tight wrap, you can secure the handle together. You can use a bit of glue to keep it tied. And there you have it, the Master Sword. So get your Link cosplay ready and make yourself one of the most iconic props ever made. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.